This is so fun camping. Isn't it? I know, it's summer. We're outdoors camping with the fire and this yummy, healthy food. We're barbecuing. This is so great. It has been such a fun summer with all of our adventures with God. I mean, do you remember our first adventure? We got all caught up trying to be better than the superpower boys. Yep. We were keeping score of our good deeds so God would like us better. Remember that? Yep. And we learned that Jesus is a gift for everyone, not just us. We learned that God just loves us for who we are. And we don't have to keep score on what we're doing. God saved us when he died on that cross. But when he rose three days later, he opened up a relationship with God with us. He opened that up just for us. So we don't have to keep score on what we're doing. We just can be ourselves. We can do good work for Jesus because that is what he taught us and we want to follow him. Then our next adventure was when Scruffy found all of the statues and idols. Remember? And we had to use our shrinking potion on those idols so the people could worship Jesus. Yes. It was just like when Paul went to Athens and he saw all the people worshiping these statues. And so he told them in a nice way that there was only one true living God, that they did not have to worship those statues and living God and Jesus. So from this, we learned that we can help Yay, others get to bitch. know Jesus. Then last Sunday, we had an amazing adventure, just like Paul. We learned that God is in control even when we have troubles and that knowing Jesus can change the way we see our problems. Remember how Paul, first he got shipwrecked, then he swam to an island, and then he got bitten by a snake, and he was cold, and he was alone, it all seemed terrible. But he knew that God's plan was the best for him, and that God would bring something good out of our troubles. He was able to tell tons of people about Jesus after that. And remember how my flower seeds in your water ended up making a nutritious food? Yes. It kind of tasted like salted beets. Look, there's more right here. Yeah, yum. So, Superpower Olivia, I was just thinking, we are getting so much out of the Bible here. It tells us all about Jesus and his story. And the more we learn, the more we can follow Jesus. And following Jesus will turn out to be greater than anything you can imagine. So, there was this man named John, and he wrote Revelations. It's the last book in the Bible. And he wrote it a long time after Jesus had gone back to heaven. God gave him a glimpse of heaven, and John wrote it all down. And what heaven and earth would look like in the future. Oh yeah, Revelations 21, 3 through 5. It is pretty long, so all you out there, you have to look it up. But basically it says, God will dwell with his people and there will be no more sadness or pain or unhappiness and everything will be wonderful. That is so cool, Superpower Olivia. So imagine your best thing ever. So what would that be? What would you be your best thing ever? Oh, that's easy. That would be rappelling down a cliff. Wow, that is totally crazy. But guess what? Heaven's going to be even better than that. Hmm. Superpower Scruffy, what would be your best thing ever? Oh, yeah, we saw this huge bone in the store. It looked really good, huh, Superpower Scruffy? But guess what? Heaven's going to be even better than that. Hmm, I wonder what be my best thing ever.
what could be better than being in a dinosaur outfit and buying chocolate chip cookies and milk? Nothing, right? Nothing could be better than that one. Well, from what you are saying, heaven is better than even that because God says it will. Whoa! Amazing! Here's what I'm thinking, Superpower Olivia. When we believe that Jesus is God's son, then someday we get to go to heaven, right? So, we want to follow Jesus. But what does that mean to follow Jesus? We learn to follow Jesus from what his actions were, and we get that from the Bible. Ah, ah, you're right, you're right. So to follow Jesus is to take the same actions he did, yeah? All right, well, he walked a lot, and he talked to a lot of people about God and how much God loved them. Jesus healed many people, so we can pray for people now when we know they are sick or hurt. Yes, we sure can. And Jesus helped lots of people, and they changed for better for their whole life. Like Paul. Remember, at first he was Saul, and then he believed in Jesus and became Paul. And then he spent his entire life telling everybody about Jesus. Hey, let's take this info and see what we can do. Maybe we can help people get a little bit of heaven on earth because through us they will see Jesus and maybe find Jesus' joy. That's a great idea! Let's unite our powers! Superpowers, Superpowers unite! unite. Wow, where did we land? We're in Africa. Wow. Look, through World Vision, we can help children in Africa. People there don't have clean water to drink, and we can help the children go to school. That would be awesome. All right, let's go find something else. Wait, where are we? We're in China. Did you know that there are 7,353 different languages in the world? And that there are 7.7 .7 billion people in the world? Well, the Bible has been translated to a lot of these languages so that people in different places in the world can read the Bible to learn about Jesus. But they haven't been translated in all of the languages. And there are companies out there that help translate and circulate Bibles. We can help. We can get Bibles to other kids. Let's go see what else we can do. Okay. Italy? Why are we in Italy? Well, actually, I was hungry and I knew that Italy had really good pizza. Help yourself. But you know what? While we're here, we could send out cards to kids in Italy and let them know that the United States of America shares their love for Jesus. right here in the USA. There are so many ways we can reach out and give a little bit of heaven to people right here in our neighborhood. That's right. We can eat at restaurants and give back to our community. We can give to an emergency food fund like Food Bank. The Food Bank. Do you remember when we made birdhouses for Habitat of Humanity? Remember Daniel did that awesome one? And Anaya painted another beautiful one with her dad. She and her dad made that one. Well, Habitat for Humanity is always looking for ways to help people here, right here, that need homes. So right now, they're making chairs. Wow, there are so many ways we can use our superpowers to help people. Absolutely. Well, I think we should fly back to our camp. It's getting pretty late. Let's go. Up and away! Whoosh. So we can have faith in Jesus and know that following Jesus will turn out greater than anything that we can imagine. That's right. We can trust God no matter what. 
Remember our Bible verse, Ephesians 2, 8. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Wait, what is this? Rope so I can go rappelling. Whoa, it's a little bit of heaven. <gasps> Superpower Scruffy, what is this? It's about the biggest bone you've ever seen. A little bit of heaven. are giving me milk and chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, this is a major bit of heaven. Okay, all you superpower heroes out there, go and do your work. And let us know anything you want to tell us of their, all your deeds. Scruffy loves to hear about them. All right, signing off. Superpowers signing off. Bark, bark, you know. Not everybody can fly around the world and help people like we can, but you can tithe or give money to your church. Then your church reaches out and gives to different organizations that helps others. Bark, bark. 2 Corinthians 9, 6-8 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. For God loves a cheerful giver. Bark, bark, bark.